Hello everyone, this is Ahmad GHL Boy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure live webinar funnels inside Go High Level. In my previous video, I can uh, showed you how to configure the pre-recorded webinar funnels inside Go High Level. So if you have not watched my that video, please go ahead and watch that. It would be very helpful for you. So, but in this video, I will be showing you how to configure the live webinar funnels inside Go High Level. So let's just share the screen and see how we can configure this. Here we are. <clears throat> so the couple of the initial steps would be the same as we did in the pre-recorded webinar. So the first step would be we will have to configure a form. I already have a form that is called webinar registration form. Let me just show you. I just created a very basic one with the basic info, but you can always add more custom fields if you want to ask for more information. But here I have this form. So now the next step is I can actually go to the webinars on the top and I can start creating a webinar funnel. So let's just start new webinar funnel, live webinar, continue. Uh, initially, you, we will just have to give it a name. So let's just call it, let's say live webinar. And then here we have to select the time a date and time of the webinar it's coming to. So just make sure you select the correct time zone. So let's see if in the New York, uh, let's see, let's assume our webinar is going to be on the 10th of November. And then here, let's just select the date. Let's see, we want to make it, uh, let's say 2 p.m. So it would be 14. And there we go. Okay, confirm. So our webinar is going to be at 2 p.m. 10th of November 2024. Hit next. And then here we have to attach the form that we selected. So let's see webinar registration form. Hit next. Here we will have to add our live webinar link. So if you guys are using any platform, you can just schedule a webinar there and just put the URL here. And for example, I am using uh, Zoom to host my webinar so I can just schedule it right on the Zoom. Let me just show you real quick how I can do that. Uh, I will open up my Zoom app. I go to schedule. And here you can just call it live webinar. And just make sure we have selected the same time as our webinar it's going to be. And it was 2 p.m. So let's just say 2, 2, 2, 3. Uh, okay, so 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. But here I have a different time zone, so I will have to make sure that it's the correct one. So let's just pick any from the US, which would be GMT. Okay. That's all Asian time zone. Uh, it would be, I guess, New York. That has to be GMT minus something. Okay, so here I look for, I think, central time. So here it is, <clears throat> US and Canada. So just to make sure that uh, we are selecting the correct time. <clears throat> and then I think that's everything that we have to do here is central time and now we can actually save it as soon as we save it it's gonna give us the url let me just open it up so that i can grab my webinar link that i scheduled on the zoom it's gonna actually drag me to here so here this is the url of the webinar so i can just grab this link and put it back into my webinar link. As soon as I'm done with this, I can hit next. And then here again, I would recommend you to use uh, blank, uh, but if you are not, uh, you know, tech savvy with the design, so you can always use the uh, pre templates as well. So for this case, I'm gonna just use the template and I recommend to create it from blank so that it's easy for you to design because inside the template, they might have used some CSS or some of the elements that we are not going to use. So that's why. As soon as we have built a webinar funnel, we will come to the configuration of the webinar funnel in a second, but the next step is we will have to configure a domain with this webinar. So I'm going to 
to a domain. So let's just connect a domain. If you don't have any domain, you can always purchase it from the Go High level. Or if you already have a domain, you can connect it with this one, or you can always uh, create a subdomain to connect with this one. So in my case, I'm going to use my subdomain that is going to be webinar.ghlboy.com. I will be using this subdomain. So let us hit continue, add records manually. I need to add the CNAME record in my domain hosting. So we will have to switch to our domain hosting. Add new record, CNAME, and then this is going to be whatever comes up before the dot. So it's going to be webinar.gohighlevel.ghlboy.com. So I will use webinar as the name and then the value, whatever I copied from the Gohigh level. Just save it. Now go back here and hit verify records. So depending on what domain provider you are using, it's going to take some time, but normally it would take like less than 30 seconds to you know populate the DNS record. So let's just wait for it uh, to populate. There we go, the record has been populated. So now we can link this domain with the funnel that we just created. And actually it would be under the website, I guess, so let's just see. This one is not the one that we just created. Let's just go back, just make sure our webinar funnel has been created, which is right here. <clears throat> We can just go in under the settings and connect the domain with this right here. As soon as we connect it, it should get saved. We just need to make sure that we have selected the default page. So let's just go to domains, edit, and we can select that default page right here. And it should be live webinar, webinar registration page. Save it. So now that we have created the registration form, we have connected the domain with the funnel. Now we will be actually configuring the webinar funnel. Let's just go back to the webinars. Let's just start with this one. So what's gonna happen is it will give you three pages. The first one is webinar registration where we will have our registration form. And then as soon as someone submit or someone register for the webinar, they will be redirected to the confirmation page. And then there is the webinar broadcast page. So let's just start with the first one. Let's open up the page builder of the first page. Here we are, and this is the form that we selected initially while setting up the webinar funnel, but we can always update this form right from here. But it looks good. The only thing that we need to configure is uh, the redirect action. As soon as someone submit this form, we want to redirect them to the next page. So let's just grab the URL of the next page, which is webinar confirmation. And let's just copy this URL, go back to the builder right here, and we're gonna place this URL here. I'm not going to play around with the rest of the content and colors and images. You can always update, they update those. So I'm just talking about the configurations here. Let's just make sure we publish it because now that we have connected that domain, so all the changes that we are making should be re get reflected on the live funnel as well. So that's all what we have to do on the first page. Let's just go to the next page, which is webinar confirmation page. As soon as we go to the second page, here we have a call to action, which says thanks for registering. And then a call to action that says click here to watch the webinar. It should get to the next page. Just make sure here we have selected the next page, which is webinar broadcast page. And let's just publish this one as well. Again, on this page, you can play around with updating your logo content and all the color scheme. But here we are only talking about the configurations. So it's been saved. Let's just go to the next one, which is webinar broadcast. Actually, because this is going to be a live webinar, so we are not going to broadcast this webinar as we did in the pre-recorded webinar. So some of the stuff will needs to go from here. So here we just need to update the date. So it was our uh, 10 November 2024. And then webinar starts at uh, I'm gonna say it, it was 2 p.m. EST. So just make sure you mention, uh, just to avoid and confusion, you mention the time zone as well. And here it would say, yeah, 2 p.m. EST. And here you can update the graphics with yours. 
and we don't need this because they have already registered so we can just delete this element and again for this one as well because they have already uh, you know registered for the webinar and now here this will automatically captures from the date and time of the webinar that we selected while uh, creating the webinar funnel which is right here but you can always update it from here as it says it's going to be on 10th of november at 2 pm and as the expiry action it will automatically redirect us to the webinar url that we put uh, while creating the webinar funnel so let's just publish this i think we, uh, we don't need this as well so let me just delete this and then i will have to just republish it again as soon as it's done so now we have configured our webinar funnel but we still need to create the automations because if your webinar is on 10th of november and if someone registers for today they should be receiving the confirmation and uh, you know the reminder sms and emails but that we will have to create a workflow let's just create a workflow quickly go to automation under the workflows we'll have to create a workflow uh, actually not from recipe i will create it from scratch so let's just create a workflow from the scratch and let's just call it webinar registration confirmation plus reminders i'm sorry so here it is. Okay, so the trigger of this workflow is going to be form submitted and the form is going to be the webinar registration form, which is right here. So as soon as this form gets submitted, the contact will be added into this workflow. On the beginning, we have to put the event start date and time, which is going to be set event start date and time and here we have to do a specific date and time let's just select uh, 10th of november and then it's going to be uh, my bed i will actually say 2 p.m there we go so 2 p.m 10th of november and this is going to pick up uh, the time zone of your sub account so just make sure under the sub account settings you have the same time zone as you uh, used uh, while uh, scheduling your live webinar so just make sure you go to business profile and here you have the same time zone that we uh, selected while configuring uh, our webinar so once that's done just save it i will rename it as well so let's call it even start date time there we go once we have that then the first thing that we are going to send them actually is going to be a confirmation email that we will send them right away and then here you can just put your form name from email right now i will just type any test thing and then here hi you can just use the custom values hi contact first name thank you for registering blah 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 here is the link to join for the webinar and then here you will have to place the url of the webinar that we uh, you know schedule once that's done you can always use the sms as well so just add another action that would be sms use the same copy that we used inside the email just save it and then for the reminders we are going to put here wait instead of time delay we are going to use wait for event and then before let's say if you want to send them a reminder one day before then it would be this one day before event time and then let's go right here i'm just going to copy all action right here you you will have to update the copy for this because this is not a confirmation email anymore so this is kind of a reminder so you can just say hi contact first name this is just a reminder uh, for the webinar coming up tomorrow and here is the link to join the webinar and then again here you will have to put the link of the webinar that's that and then if you want to add another reminder you can just use this right here 
okay so confirmation email confirmation sms wait one day before email and sms and then here we want to put maybe let's say if you want to send them a reminder 15 minutes before we can use this one then just close this copy all actions put it right here we don't need this wait so i'm gonna just delete this and again here you can update the copy just to look like it a 15 minute reminder once you do that you can just publish the workflow and save it now what's gonna happen is on your webinar funnel if someone registers it's gonna add, uh, add it into this workflow and then based on your uh, webinar date and time uh, corresponding emails and SMS as a reminder and confirmation will be sent out. So this was the very quick and short overview of how you can create the live webinar funnels inside Go High Level. Hopefully this video will help you. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get all the updates from me. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.